this is a sight that most parents can relate to. A pile of kids' clothing, hats, jackets and bags that always seems to end up dumped at the front door. But what if you rent? What can you do? You can't screw hooks into the walls. So I've got a fantastic idea. It's easy peasy and it doesn't even involve power tools. To build a coat rack like this, you're going to need four long lengths of thick dowel. If you've ever bought this sort of dowel before, you'll know how expensive it is. Around $30 for a length. But if you're savvy, head out and try and find one of these. They're wooden paint roller extension poles, around $9 each. So it's a really good money saver. And I quite like the little silver bit on the end, so I'm going to leave that too. Because these poles are raw timber, it gives you a few options. You could stain them or lime wash them, or you could paint them in a solid colour or add some decorative details. Whatever you do though, make sure it coordinates nicely with your hallway. That way it'll look like a real style statement. Now this tape, what I'm doing here, is just wrapping it around to give me bands of colour. So in some places you could keep the timber raw and exposed, or you can create stripes of different pastels. Instead of painting the poles just one solid colour, I kind of want to create a striped effect. So the easiest way to do that is with masking tape. If you buy the safe release stuff, it doesn't leave the adhesive on there and it allows it to be peeled off and it won't peel off the paint layer underneath. So you literally can put one colour on top of the other, so long as the underlayer is dry. dry so let me show you if you stand them up like this you can see the nice little silver part goes to the base what's well, a good decorative detail but because it's metal it could scratch the floor so what I want to do here is just use some of this cord my hot glue gun just to finish it off just a couple of twists around with the string and then cut it off at the end and just a dab of glue just to neaten things up Then these little felt floor savers, peel off the back, add an extra bit of glue just for insurance. And on the end, does the trick nicely. It's almost like a pool cue. There you go, another project in the making. <laughs> it's a bit like that game, pick up sticks. Line them up on the floor to make sure they're even. Now, to hold them together and bundle them while you tie the top, just get a hair tie, one of those elastics, that'll do nicely. If not, a rubber band will work as well. So that secures the ends and keeps them even, which allows you to sit them on the table and line them up. And then just take something thick like a macrame cord and start to tie it around. You want to be quite firm with this, not too tight, just firm enough to hold them together. sticks together upright and you can see that this cord here it's bound them so tightly that it's holding the tops together but it still allows the legs to splay away so you just get them to a distance that feels sturdy and you can see the top has these little sticks that just jut out now they are what you hang your coats on it's so cute don't you think this is a clever, cute idea? And I reckon the kids are absolutely going to love it. It's a great way to keep their gear together. And if you want to ever pack it away, just fold it up, away it goes, quick sticks. <laughs>